social media narcissism. Um, does anybody know if social media is to blame for the rise in narcissism? Social media has become detrimental to our generation and those to come. With all the amenities that it comes with, like faster communication, convenience, and the ability to show off yourself to others, or what you want others to see, it gives someone an alter ego or the ability to show a persona of something that isn't truly them. Personally, I'm guilty as much as most, probably, like, like you guys, of overusing social media. Being able to show what I'm doing or where I am with my followers is something sometimes I feel like I have to do. Most of the time when you're out, you'll probably take a selfie and post it on Instagram or Twitter to show everybody what you're doing. By thinking deeper, deeper into why it is we use social media so heavy, we will understand whether or not it is to blame for narcissism. I will first discuss social media and the effect it has on us today. Then I will discuss why social media and narcissism are intertwined. Finally, I will discuss what, what narcissism is. Now that I, now I will explain social media and its effects. Most of us probably use social media more than a few times a day, checking statuses or posting pictures. But we don't realize how it's affecting our face-to-face -face communication skills. Yes, we're able to communicate over a wide range of people online, but we're less likely to communicate with people in public. With the use of social media, we're less likely to engage in any other conversations or anything other than social media. The first thing we do in awkward situations or settings is grab our phone to look to look for what the, grab our phone to look at a post on Instagram or Twitter or whatever else we're into. <coughs> now that I've discussed social media, I will explain how it is involved in narcissism. People create whatever persona they want through social media. Social media comes off, wait, People create whatever persona they feel through social media and it comes off as narcissistic. I mean, you're basically broadcasting yourself and what you're doing and who you are and where you are through social media. The whole purpose is to explain you, but is that wrong to broadcast yourself and accomplishments and how you spend your days? In an article titled, What is Social Narcissism? Written by a wise geek.com blogger, Deborah Barnhart in 2014, she explains, social narcissism is the use of social media as an outlet to promote egotistical tendencies like precaution, preoccupation with a social status, physical appearance, career success, and financial status. Basically saying that social narcissism is, a social, is social media, that showing off yourself is exactly what social media is and what that's for. Finally, I will give a better understanding of narcissism. Narcissism is self-admiration or self-centeredness. It's a personality disorder characterized by the patient's overestimation of his or her own appearance and abilities and excessive need for admiration. According to Lisa Firestone, psychology expert on relationships, parenting, self-destructive, thoughts and suicide in a Huffington Post blog written in 2012, self-esteem differs from narcissism in that it represents an attitude built on accomplishments we've mastered, values we've adhered to, and care we've shown toward others. Narcissism, conversely, is often based on a fear of failure or weakness and a focus on oneself and unhealthy drive. Um, yeah. So in conclusion, I would like to say that when looking into the purpose of social media, you'll have an idea of why narcissism is a, per is a part of the discussion. Explaining that we use social media for our own selfish benefits because we'd rather look at a phone screen than actually engage in a conversation or the purpose of social media is to show off, gives, show off, 
to show off gives insight into social media. So do you believe